I don't buy new cars, I don't buy brand names, I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money, I like to find bargains, it's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. How y'all doing? This uh, video is going to be all kinds of pieces chopped up. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. But it's starting to just shut off in the middle of uh, me talking and like if if it loses power right now it doesn't automatically save and so anyway <laughs> what this video was about is about how to get some uh, earthworms we call them fishing worms out of the garden out there out of the flower garden out of the landscape and out of the yard whatever without disturbing your soil you know, it's one thing to go out there and dig up some worms to go fishing, but uh, Mama don't necessarily like you digging up her flowers to do that. So, uh, so, oh hush. So anyway, what I'm going to show you is Pawpaw's Worm Getter. How I, how I get earthworms out there without all the sweat and all the hard labor. You know, they say if you want to know the easiest way to do something, get a fat man to do it for you. Or ask a fat man to do it, he'll show you the easiest way. Well, well, let me tell you what you got to get together first. What you've got to gather up is you're going to need a lamp cord. You know, just a cord like goes on a lamp. And uh, I've been cutting them off of old lamps and, and televisions and all kinds of stuff every time I go to the treasure hunting spot. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'll, you know, I cut power cords off stuff all the time because that wire is expensive. You heard me talk about it whenever I made the thing for uh, uh, pumping water out of the creek for my chickens. But anyway, you need your lamp cord. And you're going to need a couple of pieces of wire or a little steel rod. You know the politician signs you see out there, you know, about 18 by 24? They got a little two-wire two stake jobby. You, you use them. Just anything made out of metal that you can push down on the ground, like a coat hanger. I happen to have found a couple of pieces of quarter inch diameter steel rod, which I'm going to use here. And because my steel rod was rusty, I, I need a little bit of sandpaper just to clean it up a little bit where I'm, where I'm attaching the wire. And a little bit of black tape. You got a little bit of black tape so you can tape your wire to it. Okay, so it's two two pieces of metal, some kind of wire, coat hanger, steel rod, whatever, to stick down on the ground, a lamp cord with your plug on the end, and some black tape. That's all you got to have. All right. So uh, when this little bit ends, you're gonna, I'll be right into the making of it. Okay. Uh, this has been something I've done ever since I was a little kid. When I was a little kid, I remember my dad using a telephone generator to do it. Just use a DC current. And he'd really try to get it cranked up to see if he could make it uh, tingle whenever I grab a worm off the ground. But in this case now, when you use this, you plug it in. And I, I, and I like to tell people, just leave your hands on the, co on the cord where it's plugged in. And that'll keep you from reaching down there and getting, you get a little bit of a tingle. And uh, this is not for children to do. This is for people that are familiar with electricity and know to respect electricity. It's nothing to be scared of. Just respect what it can do, okay? Anyway, let's go right into making this thing, shall we? I don't know why that shut off, but the only thing you've got to be careful of is you don't want to grab hold one of them steel rods while it's still plugged into the extension cord. And I'll demonstrate it here in a little bit, okay? Well, 
These steel rods have been sitting out in the garage for quite some time, so they're pretty rusty. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand a little area right here where I'm going to attach my wiring, just, just so it makes a little bit better connection. This is not necessary, I'm just doing it because I want to. You can use any kind of wire. Uh, you know them, uh, them little galvanized wire brackets, them uh, politician signs, you know, you see them stuck out in the yard? Those will work just fine. Any kind of wire, any, anything, anything metal, basically, that you could stick down into the ground. All right? Now, in my case here, I'm actually going to attach my wire a couple of inches from the top because I'm going to, you know, I may need to take a hammer and peck it down into the ground, okay? So, uh, if all you use using was coat hanger wire where you're grabbing it, you know, and, and pushing it in, you could wrap your wire right up the top, bend it over, and all kinds of stuff. So, let me, uh, let me peel this wire back. Like I say, this cord didn't cost me a thing in the world. Notice how I'm separating this. Now you do not want to use a real long cord on your earth on your earthworm getter on your worm getter because you want you want the end of that extension cord, which I'll demonstrate. You want the end of that extension cord right there near your hand. Because when you go to pick them worms up off the ground, you want to disconnect your power. And the worst I've ever happened is I have gotten a little bit of a tingle, a little bit of a tingle uh, off the ground real, real close to one of the rods. I never have been really shocked or anything. But I'm telling you for your own good that electricity is dangerous. So... If you're if you're a least bit nervous about doing this, then maybe you shouldn't be doing it. And any of you knows anything about electricity, you, you know this ain't no big deal. My dad was a journeyman electrician, and like he said, you ain't got to be scared of electricity. Just respect it. Re respect what it can do. Okay. He he taught me how to wire a house when I was like eight year old. Okay, so, what I've done is I've peeled that insulation back about two inches. I'm twisted the wire together so it'll hold together nice. Now I'm just going to go up here where I sanded on this, and I'm going to wrap that wire around there real good. And then I'm going to tape it in place. This is some of that Harbor Freight black tape. It's really cheap tape. But once you get once you get it started, it ain't too bad. When I say cheap, I mean it is sure enough cheap. Buy by the 10 roll pack, I believe I do. So all I'm doing is I'm just making sure I got a good tight connection, tight as I can, with that bare wire against that rod. And then I'm just going to run my tape on up here a little more just to get a good hold on it so that whenever you pull it on it, you ain't pulling right on your bare wire. And I'll do the same thing on the other one. And it's not real cold outside. I don't know if there's any earthworms within a, a foot of the top or not. But we're going to we're going we're going to see. I'm going to go out there and try it. And if uh, if they are out there, I'll film it. And if they ain't, you know, you just have to wait till spring to try it. 
But this right here is Pawpaw's Worm Getter. You feel free to copy it. All you got to do is run you an extension cord out to wherever you think there's worms. You take that right there, you stick it in the ground. I wouldn't get it no closer to the maybe eight inches. You know, there's no reason to. I, I usually set mine at least a foot apart. Just stick them down in the ground. And don't be leaning on these. Get away from them. And then plug it in the extension cord. And wait just a minute. Then all of a sudden you'll see them coming. All right. Well, by God, that's how you do it. That's Pawpaw's earthworm getter. Ain't never got to use a shovel, never again. Well, I have tested my cord so I know I've got electricity. And we're just going to go right down here. And we're going to see if we can't get some worms. That's probably in the 40s out here right now. I know it's been in the 50s. And uh, i got to get my... I don't know where I'm looking here. Okay. So, I'm just going to let these leaves back so we can see what we're doing. Okay. We'll plug it in. Oh my goodness! Look at that! <laughs> if I won't go fishing, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.